guys, welcome back to my channel and to another handbag collection. A few weeks ago, I showed you guys all of my vintage everyday handbags. And I mentioned in that video that I just have way too many bags to show you guys all into like one full video. So that's why I split it up into a few different videos. So this one is all my vintage inspired handbags. Most of these bags I've purchased over the past few years. So there's nothing really that new. But I would show you guys anyway, just because I have a lot of really fun bags. This is kind of where I experiment a little bit and play a little bit more around with color. Whenever I go to like an antique market or antique show or anything like that, I feel like most of the bags do tend to be neutrals and if you do find something that is more colorful or more fun or more unique it does tend to be a little bit more expensive so whenever I go to like an actual store I do look around and see if I find something really fun that I can add to my collection without further ado I'm just gonna jump right into it I'm gonna get started with my more summery bags and I don't have too many that are just for summer I feel like most of my bags you can wear all year round but I do have three specific ones that I only wear in the summertime really and the first one that I have is this one and you can obviously tell this is a summer bag it looks like this it has kind of like a caramel wicker material to it it is really hard so I'm always scared to like hit it against something and then it's gonna break it has a little cream bow in the corner which I think is really darling and then the inside of it it has this really pretty like floral like pattern to it which I think is really cute and it matches so many of my summer outfits the next bag that I have you guys have probably seen like a hundred times on my Instagram and it looks like this it's really nice and cute it's small it's white and it has kind of like a faux leather woven to it which is different than like the wicker one just because this one is really nice and soft so it won't break or anything so it looks like this it's really nice and small handheld you guys will see a trend throughout the entire video that I love handheld bags that are really nice and small and that have a top opening like this I really try to avoid zippers as much as possible I actually tend to avoid zippers in all my clothes. Maybe I just don't like zippers. I originally got this one from Zara and looking at it now, it probably has one more summer left in it. I feel like I won't be able to use it for that much longer. It's kind of falling apart on me. The next bag that I have, you've again seen it about a hundred times on my Instagram. I use this bag all the time and it looks like this. Um, it's really nice and cute. It's white and it's totally different from the one that I just showed you. It's a completely different shape. This one looks a little bit more put together, I guess you could say. Um, the other one's a little bit more casual. So this one looks like this and then it has a little twist closure there and then it just opens up at the top again it fits my vlogging camera which is really really important to me and then for all these bags I tend to keep all of the crossbody straps which I don't know why I even hang on to them when you guys know how I feel about crossbody straps and it has gold hardware which is my favorite I tend to wear way more gold than I do silver so most of my bags do have gold hardware on them um, and yeah not really much to say about it this one was originally from Aldo the next bag that I have I actually probably should have mentioned in my vintage everyday handbag collection because it is thrifted but it's from Banana Republic so I don't really qualify that has vintage like I feel like it's really not that old so I just kept it for this video instead um, but it looks like this it is vintage inspired you can tell from the silhouette there that it does look more vintage and without even opening it up you could probably think that it's a little bit older than it actually is but when you open it up on the inside you can tell that it is a little bit more new it even has a newer Banana Republic tag on it so I really don't think this is actually that old I feel like it could have been from like the early 2000s or something um, but I just think it's really cute and this color actually surprisingly matches so many dresses it looks so much fun and I very unusual color that you don't really see very often which I think is really cool next bag that I have again could have been put in my vintage everyday handbag collection because it is vintage technically um, but I actually have it stored somewhere else so it's in a different place in my mind and physically so it kind of like skipped over it when I was planning that video um, but it looks like this and this bag actually belonged to my grandmother so it is really really special to me it's kind of like a brown burgundy kind of tone and it has a little gold handle and then it just opens up at the top like this and then you like open it up. It has a little compartment there in the middle, which I think is really cute. Um, and I actually rarely wear this bag. It's it's really sad because I love it so much and it would match so many of my outfits, but I'm so scared of something happening to it. Like if I scratched it or something, I would be devastated. So I rarely wear it, but then it's also kind of sad because it's just sitting in my closet, not being seen, which it deserves to be seen because it's just so cute. The next bag that I have, again, is something that I actually don't wear very often. And I wish I did. The problem is that I really have a hard time matching it with things I feel like it's kind of like a really odd yellow color because it's not rubber duck yellow and it's not quite mustard yellow so it's a little harder to match with things I feel like I have one dress that actually matches it really nicely and then other than that I tend to wear it with like a white dress or like a black and white outfit it has a really vintage style shape to it with a little clasp closure at the front and it just opens up at the top like that you guys will see that's one of my favorite types of bags as well I originally got this from Zara I feel like Zara does do some vintage inspired bags from time to time so if you are on the market for a more vintage style bag make sure you check 
check them out. I'll try to add some links in the description box for you guys, so some bags that I see that look kind of similar to the ones that I'm showing you on here, or just something really fun that I've seen, so make sure you guys check that out in the description box. The next bag that I have is this really beautiful orange one, and this is actually one of my favorite bags because it's such a fun shape. I rarely see any bags with this type of shape, and I just think it's so cute, very like 1960s, has a more like mod, sophisticated mod kind of vibe to it, which I love, and this orange color is just so much fun. I actually have a dress that it matches like perfectly with it, and it looks so cute. Um, but anyway, so it looks like this, really nice and structured, it has a little handheld little handle, and then it just opens up at the top, so you press the little button, and then it just opens up like this. It's really nice and roomy, and this pretty much is how all of my bags look like. They all open and close the same way. I'm just really drawn to this type of bag. Um, but I just think it's really, really cute. I got this in Spain, I want to say two years ago, I want to say. It's probably in one of my Spain hauls somewhere on my channel. The next bag that I have, you guys have probably also seen all over my Instagram, and it is because it is my go-to evening bag. So it looks like this. It is kind of like a metallic silver color, and the reason I always grab this is because it fits my vlogging camera. So you guys will see whenever I do my evening handbag collection that all those bags are really small and tiny, so it doesn't fit my vlogging camera. And realistically, if I'm going to an event, I don't want to carry like my vlogging camera and my purse. Like I want to have at least one free Hand. So I tend to grab this one because it matches practically everything. It has a very cool like mod 1960s space age kind of feel to it. So it does work a lot with like my going out outfits, which is perfect. This is originally from Aldo and then it just opens up like this. You just open it like that um, and then you fit all your stuff inside. It actually fits a lot more than you would expect it to. I feel like metallic handbags should be a little bit more popular. I just think they look so cool and like, I don't know, I feel like I don't really see them that often or maybe I'm just like not going to the right stores or the right online stores, but I think they're really, really fun. The next bag that I have is also gray and it looks like this and this one is from Teddy Blake and it does look pretty much exactly the same as a Kelly bag, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty much like an exact dupe of it and I just think it's really really cute and surprisingly it is incredibly well made. I was actually shocked how well made it was but it looks like this, really really cute. The only thing is I rarely wear this bag because I find this thing really annoying. You have to like pull a little to get it through the loop and then the same thing on the other side. And then you have to like pull it through this thing as well. I know I just did it in a few seconds, but it is really annoying if you're like opening and closing the bag and I don't want to just leave it like this. It just doesn't look nice. So I only use this bag if I know I'm not going to be opening it and closing it. Like if I'm just walking around somewhere and then I'm just going to leave it closed, then I'll use it. But I actually like rarely grab this bag, even though it does match pretty much everything. Now I'm going to go into all of my pink handbags. I have three different pink handbags. And the first one that I have looks like this. It's really nice and small. Again, it has the same silhouette as all of the other bags that I just showed you. It's really cute. It has has like these little circles going along the front. This one is from Michael Kors and it is really pretty, but I've actually never worn this. Like I've had it in my closet for, I wanna say like three years, like actually a really long time for a bag that I've never worn, but I think it's really, really cute. And I don't know why I never grab it because it does match a lot of my like summer dresses and outfits. Everything is still like in the packaging. It's still even attached to the bag. Like it's really sad actually. That's incredibly wasteful of me to not even use the bag that I bought. I don't wanna get rid of it because I do love it. So I should just make a point to actually wear it. Not really much else to say about it other than it is a really cute little bubblegum kind of color and yeah. The next bag that I have looks like this, and this one is very similar to that orange one that I showed you, just because it has a very similar silhouette, except this one is a little bit softer, so I do like to keep some like tissue paper in this bag, just because I want it to keep its shape and I don't want it to get all like droopy, if that makes sense. I do like bags that have a really nice structure to them. I don't like anything that's like like a dump bag. Like, you know those bags, like a tote bag that you just like throw everything in and they have like no shape? I hate those types of bags. I definitely gravitate more towards like really nicely shaped bags that have a lot of structure to them. Anyway, so this one looks like this. It's really cute. It has gold hardware. Again, it has that same type of closure where you press the button and then it just opens up at the top like that. Um, and then it also has little gold studs going along the front and on the sides here. And it also has a little like top handheld handle, uh, which I think is really cute. And it actually surprisingly matches a lot of different outfits just because it's not like a pure pink, it's more of like a nudie, taupey kind of pink. So it does actually work really well, especially in the winter. This is a perfect winter bag, like a really great way to incorporate more color into your winter outfits. The last pink handbag that I have looks like this. It's like a little hot pink, little mini briefcase. And I just think it's so cute. It's very like Barbie, pretty much takes me back to like my childhood when I was obsessed with Barbie. Um, and I just think it's 
really, really cute. I actually, again, don't wear this very often just because I don't really have anything that matches this bright pink. So I only wear it whenever I wear like an all white outfit or like a black and white outfit. But I do think it is really cute and it's very unique to the rest of my collection. I feel like I don't really have anything that looks like this. It's the only one that has this type of shape. Open it up like a briefcase like this like that and then it looks like that on the inside it's really really cute i'm not gonna lie though the only annoying thing about this bag is that if i'm shopping for example and i'm opening and closing my bag i feel like i have to like set it down somewhere to actually be able to open it because if not everything's gonna fall out like if it's just kind of like dangling on my arm like this and I try to open it it just everything's just gonna like spill out so that being said this is definitely not the bag that I would grab from going shopping because it's way too inconvenient to open and close um, but I do think it is really cute you guys know red is my favorite color to wear so of course I need some red handbags to go along with that and the first one that I have is actually the bag that I was using yesterday and it actually matches my outfit today too um, but it looks like this it's really nice and tiny it has that same type of closure you just press the little button here and then it just opens up at the top and it's actually all made out of rubber it's really strange it's like pretty much all plastic but it's like a really nice soft plastic and I just think it's so cute very mod very like 1960s which I think is really fun whenever I use this bag I get a lot of compliments I feel like people really like it I actually got this from don't kill me I actually got this from Shein I want to say like three years ago or something like that like a really long time ago if you are going for a more 1960s style I would definitely recommend something like this it has a more like rubbery vinyl kind of look to it just because it kind of adds to that like 1960s London street style kind of vibe which I think is perfect. The next bag that I have is actually the most unusual bag in my entire collection and probably one of my favorites. Um, it looks like this. It's bright red and it's kind of like a cylinder shape. I think it's so cool, so mod, so 1960s. I want to say I got it at TJ Maxx when I went to Buffalo. I want to say like last year or a year before that. I think it's so cool and so fun and I've actually never seen a bag like this before. So it looks like this. Like I said, it's kind of like a cylinder. It has a more like raincoat patent leather kind of feel to it which I think is perfect for that time period and then it just opens up in the middle like that and then it's actually very roomy on the inside obviously because of the shape that it is this one like I said I got it at TJ Maxx I believe it was $29.99 so it was very affordable so if you do go and you see something unusual snatch it up don't even think about it just buy it because there's a very high chance you won't find it again I've actually never seen a bag like this like again since then um, so I'm really glad that I got it I have two handbags left which you can see right there in the background and they're gonna contradict pretty much everything that I said throughout the entire video because they both have zippers shocking i know but i think they're really cute and the first one that i have to show you is the last of my red bags and look at how fun this bag is i think it's so cool again it has that kind of like patent like vinyl kind of look to it it has all these little like circles and like a gold hardware i'm not really sure what these are actually called but i think it's really cool it adds to that like 1960s space age kind of look if you know what i mean and then it has the zipper and then it opens up like that um and then it just opens up like this it's kind of like a little lunchbox if you know what i mean and what i love about it is that it adds a little bit of like a texture and pattern to an outfit which i think is really fun and it's really unusual i feel like i don't have any bags like this i got this at niagara on the lake it was like a random store i don't even know if that store's still around anymore but they had like this massive pile of handbags and i was kind of like looking through it and then i saw this one at the very bottom and i was like that one is coming home with me because it's so cool and so unique so i'm really glad i added this to my collection i think it's really fun and really cute and unusual now we are down to the very last handbag which you can see right there and it looks like this it's really really cute and very mod very 1960s it has like that really fun circle hat box suitcase kind of look to it which i think is really cute it's black it's actually the only black handbag that I've shown this entire video which is surprising opens up and with a zipper again like that similar to that pink handbag like I was saying it is kind of annoying if you're gonna go shopping to open it and close it just because of the way that it opens up I feel like I need like counter space to be able to do that but I do think it is really cute and it's actually very roomy so I can always fit like my vlogging camera my wallet I feel like I can fit a sweater I can fit a water bottle this actually works really well with all of my 1960s outfits like this dress for example it matches perfectly I think it's really cute and I feel like I got this from winners i think or was it marshall's one of those two stores like i said check them out if you are looking for something a little bit more unusual i love this bag i think it's really fun i actually want to find one like this but in white i have like that white circle backpack but i think a handheld circle white bag like this would be really cute and yeah that pretty much concludes this video those are all of my vintage inspired handbags i hope you guys like this video be on the lookout for my evening bag collection which i'm not sure if it's going to be in december or january i'll try to do it for december though let me know as well if you have any christmas video requests as well as subscribe if you're not already subscribed and i'll see you guys next time bye